Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Charles Young, also known as Open Thoughts. Hey, follow me on OpenThoughts.com. That's Open, T-H-O-T-S dot com. So what I want to talk to you about today is saying pay for a better education. Now, what do I mean by paying for a better education? I'm not talking so much about a schooling environment or an academic curriculum. I'm talking more of the fact of any information that you want to learn. Now, a lot of the times what I see is other racial uh, groups growing because they pay for a higher form of information. Uh, I look at a lot of, I'm studying a lot of GMO videos and a lot of the people I'm actually seeing getting into GMOs is not people of my particular um, ethnicity. And I think it's very interesting because, the, you know, people are spending tons and tons of money on making themselves better. And yet some people just don't understand that. Now, you don't have to go to school, but you will have to get a better education or something because there is an individual who's not a part of an academic setting who has some information that could help you out and get past the middleman. They can probably give you some more information than what the academic setting would give you. So... Uh, especially uh, when it comes to getting or receiving more information, you should be willing to pay for it. For me personally, I want to pay for more information. I want to pay for more because the more information I can get, the more I can charge a person double for the information that I know. And the more information you get, the more you can apply yourself and be better fit for certain situations. A lot of people think knowledge is power. Yes, but applied knowledge is wealth. And that's the difference. A lot of people are hoarders of information. That's, that's a big problem I've seen a lot of the time. People who have so much information and very intelligent people, but they do not take that information farther than their front step <laughs> and maybe not even outside the house. And now when they gather all this information, now they're scared to release it. Well, why? You studied all this information. Why don't you start putting out there and why don't you make a business of this information you've grasped instead of being a hoarder of it and harboring it? But, and help, yeah, and help somebody else become better. So, people, we have to understand is that you're going to have to pay for something. Why don't you pay to better yourself? And I mean, in any setting, it could be exercise, get a gym membership, you know, learn a martial arts sport, um, learn how to be a business management, learn something, learn something and pay for it and don't be afraid to. I mean, a lot of the time when I was seeing going to these conscious events, it's very interesting to me as people are listening to the speaker speak and then the speaker tries to sell them some material to better themselves and these people start walking out start walking away, don't want to pay for the information, don't want to even give a donation, don't want to do anything, don't want to do anything, saying that they're supporting them, but they're not. They're just taking in the for free information and then I leave them and just leaving in Jetta. Now I'm not saying if you're not able to, if you're not able to, it's understandable. Some of us don't have the privileges to pay for information. Hey, I don't have the privileges today to not be able to pay for more information, but I will have it. You know, so I'm going to speak it into existence. I will have more information, more knowledge, and I will apply it and give it to other individuals at a price. <laughs> but it's better than not paying for anything at all or going to places that is going to charge you 20 times the, the, uh, the amount and you know what's funny to me i like to go to a lot of seminars i like to go to a lot of these like little you know things and and i think about it it's not really that much i mean think about it we you know some of these events are three three from maybe i'll say three hundred dollars all the way to maybe fifteen hundred uh dollars and looking at this like man all this great information for a small price because Every single day, we're probably spending that am amount of money, and we're not learning anything. We're spending it on gas. We're spending it on a house. We're spending it on rent. We're spending it on all the stuff that you're going to continuously spend your money on instead of the stuff that you really need, how to make more money so you're not dwelling always and living a day-in, day-out, paycheck life that you hate, and we know you hate it. 
So that's really what I want to talk about today, man, is pay for some knowledge. Don't sit there and go to these seminars and hoard all this information and don't apply it or don't pay for it and don't teach it. Make something out of it. Grow out of this information. If you learn something, teach people. Teach them at a price. Make a YouTube video. Do uh, um, you know um, some little uh, consultations or do anything to help yourself and to help others grow and this is how you make it. This is the information age. People can probably, people like to have a source to get the information. And if you have that information, don't hold it. And if you are an individual who wants to receive more information, don't be afraid to pay for it because somebody else is going to pay for it and they're going to be closing some form of a door for you at this point. So I thank you guys for listening again. Hey, follow me on OpenThoughts.com. That's open, T-H-O-T-S dot com. Follow me on Blogger, Tumblr, uh, Google+, Plus, Facebook. All the links will be at the uh, uh, description below. So I thank you, man, and y'all have a good one. Peace. Peace.